where killers of Obas in Ekiti State came from finally revealed. The horrific murder of two traditional rulers in the Ikoli area of Ekiti State has come to light thanks to the arrest of a suspect. At a news conference called by the Assistant Inspector General of Police AIG for Ekiti State, Dari Umudari, in Ado Ekiti on Sunday, the suspect in question, Alaji Boboga, revealed startling information. Speaking to reporters at the headquarters of the Ekiti State Police, Baboga acknowledged his role in the unfortunate events. He claimed that four accomplices intimidated him with violence if he didn't agree to take part in the operation, forcing him to comply. Baboga was a S man from the Fulani tribe in the wilderness, taking care of his animals, but his friends, who supplied the guns for the crime, pulled him into the plot. Baboga narrated how he came upon the car carrying the three traditional rulers in the jungle. Baboga started, stated, he was unable to remember the precise series of events that culminated in the shooting days, despite the fact that the original objective was not to kill. The offenders quickly left the site after the incident, leaving a terrifying tree in their wake. Baboga said that he had participated in other crimes carried out by the same organization. So they are now even organization such as an abduction operation for which he was paid a pitiful 5,000 naira as his share. 5,000 naira. Hey, hey. AIG Ugundari highlighted the security agency's cooperative effort in apprehending the culprits, noting the difficult terrain of the woodland between Ayedun and Ayebodi, where Baboga was captured. Despite Baboga's admission of guilt, the police are stepping up their attempt to capture his escaped accomplices. Those who have uh, escaped. Mm. <laughs> now, this uh, guy's story is, you know, uh, sounds like uh, the one that uh, in a boy state, an Igbo boy who said that it was a wonderful animal that led him to go and kidnap a, 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 how many U.S. returnees that uh, because he wanted money. According to him, he had a shop and this uh, full animal uh, was his customer or he's still his customer and he said he wanted uh, to borrow money from the full animal. The full animal uh, there are many ways you can get money. Don't worry. That Just follow me. And he followed him and he asked somebody to help him to look at, after his shop. The man now went to Lodge him in an hotel before you could see Jack Robinson. They took him, they this him, you know, just a narration of those stories. I say, all those stories that this guy is talking about, you think he's going to be tenable in the uh, law courts that the man just told you, and you just followed him, he didn't know this and that. All those are stories. The same story this guy is telling us that, uh, oh, he used to uh, rear cattle and they just called him, they just told him, and he followed them and all of those stuff. And you collect, they gave you 5,000 naira and you collected it. Mm. That's it to tell you uh, the low amounts, uh, the, you know, the small amount of money that these people even get. Waste people's lives. They waste people's lives. Yeah. The worst part of it is that this issue of a full learning is me. We know that uh, there are other people who are committing crimes. But these guys uh, got emboldened while Buhari was there. But the irony of this whole thing was that you can imagine if uh, this incident had happened under Buhari, oh, they would have said, can you imagine? Of course, we know what we would have said. But unfortunately, the same Tinumbu, who is now the president, see, eh, but there's another traditional ruler that has been taken again, oh, taken down again. That is making four. If not that one of them escaped, there would have been five. In just one week, the man is not even doing anything. And I told them, I always tell these uh, Yoruba people, my people, that see, what can you even pinpoint that Tinubu did for you people that all of you saw them? You people are just jumping at uh, him. You just jumped at him during the uh, electioneering period. Oh, Umulule She is the one that can do it. Ah, Oh, I cannot leave my own uh, person and go and be voting for an Igbo person. Now, who are the people crying more? We are talking about traditional rulers. 
at times because these guys they are they are holding a, a, a highly position in the community they are traditional as they are the custodian of our traditional laws if not that democracy came and you know they scattered everything these were the people that are supposed to be presidents or governors in Tinumbu's domain see what is happening they will tell people tribalism does not help your person or whatever does not help no they, they will not hear with all the nonsense that happened under Buhari, and I always say it, what did these people gain in Northerners? They did not gain anything apart from the elite, and it's, it's the same thing that is happening to people. But I think maybe in this period, I am hopeful, because Nigerians say, eh, people will say, oh, you cannot die for Yoruba people. No. Only Yoruba is kufu within them. Because when they were telling uh, Sunday that all these things that you are doing, the people will still come back. But I don't think it's a, a Yoruba thing. Human beings generally, when Jesus died on the cross of Calvary, even his own people, when he was doing his uh, ministry, when he was, you know, going about his ministry, when he was alive, did he, his people did not, they didn't accept him. So, uh, this is no matter of, uh, oh, uh, it's his one tribe or whatever. When you talk about betrayer, betrayer is an English word. It means that it's happening over there. That is why they can detail that there's something like, something called a, a betrayer. So, human being generally, you want be generally, you know, it is very, very difficult. Even somebody that laid his life, Jesus laid his life. His own people did not accept him. It, you know, outsiders were the ones that received him. So it is always like that. But the same thing the told us during Buhari's time that how can you be talking, talking about uh, Fulani, Fulani people? People are just profiling the, uh, the, it was ethnic profiling and all of that. But at the end of the day, I remember one uh, the Afeni Neferi's daughter that was a uh, mother. Tinubu denied it was not a full of people, this and that. But at the end of the day, it came out to be that they are the ones that uh, they were the ones that did that. And he was trying to shift the blame to oh Igbos talking about uh, Evans that was a kidnapper. See, he's now in charge. Tinubu is now in charge. Are they getting anything? Even when Gulag Jonathan was there as a president. Was there any meaningful projects in or developments in the south side? No talk of a it's all village. It's unfortunate. So it is what it is. This thing is getting bigger every day. Our government should act fast on this. Hmm. Which government? The one that cares about you or not? Is it not shameful to be paid only five thousand naira in an operation that involved death penalty? Foolishness shall never end. Of course. No, 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 no. So, guys, uh, let's see your opinion and have your take on this. Thank you.